in today's video i'm gonna be doing is hair what do i use while i'm on my period make sure to like comment share and subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you can have a post notification when i post a new video and let's get on with the video also again thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers and from now on it's just gonna go up from here obviously nothing but like positivity and stuff periods Peri right now i'm gonna show you guys which pads i use while i'm on my period so the first pad that i do like to use is called what's called you by cortex these pads are really good while i'm on my period fun fact um while i'm on my period i always had heavy flows never a light flow so i use you by cortex you can find this anywhere this i'll show you guys what it looks in the inside it looks like this this one is the second one which is for heavy flows obviously when it's smaller this is the second one if it's like thick then i will use it if it's like a heavy flow for the floor Ooh. if it's a heavy flow or like getting lighter i will use these types of ones these are really good these ones i love these ones yeah it's small because obviously it's a pen liner but this like really work and really like huh it's good so what i usually do i usually have like a small bag like this or like my other small bag That's what I normally do. The one I say is that there's this other pad which I don't have anymore because obviously it finished. But it's like this big ass pad. So for when you're sleeping, you just put it on there and literally it like helps through all night. So now I'm going to be talking about my heavy flows and stuff like that. So girls, usually girls at the age of like 10 going on 11 or at the age of 11, will get their period. Some girls get it earlier, some girls get it later, depending on your body. So for me, I got my period at the age of 10 going on 11. At first, it was the most painful experience ever. Like I was crying. I was like in so much pain. I drank pills and medicine that didn't help literally it was just so painful and i would say that at first it will last about seven days or maybe longer because it is your first period and then later on it will get lighter like i mean like the days because for me after after i had my first actual period at the age of 10 going on 11 it lasts for seven days then when i got it again it only lasts for five days so for me I usually get them only for five days or maybe four days depending on like it comes also I will say I do use a, a um, app it's called clue I will insert a picture here I will show you guys how to use it I use that and it helps me keep track of of like when my period is coming and when my period is ending as a girl obviously as a woman do not be afraid and to tell people when you are on your period not tell the whole world i'm saying i mean like for me right i would tell like my boyfriend my dad my mom whoever you know 
it's just around me, I will be like, oh, hey, I need to use the bathroom because I'm on my period. Not like strangers or anything like that. I mean, like somebody that's really close to you, don't be afraid to tell them. I know that's right. So don't be afraid to tell them, be like, oh, hey, I'm on my period. Period. So there could be like a heads up, like, this is why I'm a bit bitchy. This is why I'm a bit moody. This is why I'm like emotional, happy one minute, emotional the next minute cravings if you guys do get crazy it's nothing to be ashamed about um chill i know that's right <laughs> okay speaking about cravings so for me when i was on my period when i actually first first got it i will always crave chocolate and then it changed so I, at first i would crave chocolate then when i would get it i craved um i believe it was pizza after that then after I craved pizza, when I got it, excuse me, again, I craved hot sauce. Then now, when I get my period, I haven't craved nothing at all. So I haven't been feeling no pain. The only pain I feel is when I'm eating something and then I finish, that's when the pain hits because obviously I'm ovulating. If I do, it's only while I'm on my period. My period is irregular. It don't come every month. So since I got it this month, no, actually, I mean, I got it last month, August. It might not come this month, September. But it all depends. And it's this. But, like, every time I would eat or, like, drink something, the pain would be so strong to the point where, like, I felt like I was li literally dying, bro. I had two more sections left. So I stopped taking them for two days. I noticed when I, when I don't take them, I'm fine. I'm, like, just fine, the best. But then I noticed when I took them, I will be not fine at all. And yes, I am an Aries, but at the same time, it's not that. Damn! So I took them only July. I stopped taking them. By the end of July, I stopped taking them. I had two, no, I had one more row left, but I just flushed them shits down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. And I tell you, I flushed them shits down the toilet. I flushed them shits down the toilet. I was not having it. Period. So moving on to products that I use when I'm on my period. And yes, I use more than three products. But for now, I'm just going to show you like the three products that I have. Because the rest are finished. So what I normally do, I use the Dr. Teal wash cream for my body. A liquid soap while I'm on my period. I get baby wipes. I need baby wipes, but for me, I like the one that smell good. I normally do, I take about two wipes. Wipe one, wipe two. Wipe one, I put water on it, take my body soap, squirt it, like this. But I will wet the wipe, obviously, which I'm not going to do right now, but I will take this so down there what i do i like wipe it wipe it and wash it at the same time wipe two what i do i take this like just just like this alone by itself no soap i put water rinse wash my hoo ha woo -woo -woo. then for my booty because you know us girls say my butt sometimes the blood gets to the butt so i normally do i don't take just one of this I take two, the new one. I take the the two new ones out, put one under soap above. Then what I do, well, this is lotion, but what I normally do, I have like this body scrub that's like lotion, but I'm gonna use this as an example. So what I do, I would go like this. I would take it like this. Oh fuck, it fell. Scrub it like this. So it will look like this guys can't really tell take this to my butt wipe the inside of my booty and then i will fold it up and then do it again for my booty and then i will throw it out then i will take the um third one which is just alone by itself mind you i'll show you guys with this by itself like this put water rinse wash my butt and then wash my hoo-ha 
after that, I do, I use like a bar soap, Hispano, Hispano bar soap, right? A bar soap. Do I put the bar soap, scrub it like that on top of it. Put the water, wash my hoo and my butt again. And then after that, what I do, I would take a um, rag, a clean rag, and then pat dry my private area, and then dry my butt. And then after I do that, what I do, I um use another bar of soap for my entire body. And then with the body scrub um lotion that I have for my body, I will use that for my entire body. And then I will mix it with this, Dr. Teal, with my entire body. After that, I'm done washing my body. Do um end my period, I use like a regular soap. And I will take a um, rag, wash my hoo-ha, my butt, throw that out, take another rag, wash my entire body. And then when I'm not on my period at all, at all, when well, I mean like when it's gone, gone, I will use is a regular bar soap for my entire body. I will go over it with um with a certain liquid soap. Okay, so speaking about periods. What I do, I shave two days before getting in my period, and then I shave after I finish my entire period. I learned that when I was younger, to shave before getting in your period and after your period. Because if you guys don't shave before getting your period, um, like the smell while you're getting it, it will stay on your pubic here. And after, your, after you finish having your period, the smell of the period, it will be on your pubic hair, like I said, right? So if you guys don't shave it after, the smell will just stay on there, which is disgusting. I know that's right. I'm telling you, bro. If if you guys are not expecting your period, make sure to have pads, tampons, extra panty, extra clothes, just in case, because you guys will never know. And that's a lesson I learned. But make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and I really hope and that this period video i hope you guys a lot again i will be doing an updated one later on but thank you guys so much for watching this video please like comment share and subscribe and hit the post notification bell to get a single post notification when i post a new video and i will see you guys in my next video